Well, I'm standing up on top of a bunch of blocks, uh, which have to do with the reason I'm building this floor anyway. But I, th I wanted to film, this is a pretty good angle to uh, show you what the finish, quote unquote, finish floor looks like. I'm, I'm using that rough sawn pine, and there's really three sized pieces that I'm using. There's been no scrap at all so far. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll finish it out now, but I wanted to show you how that lays over the uh, the 45 that's uh, the the subfloor that's there no nailing of course and and notice also that I've managed to lay it so that there are no joints at all that aren't broken meaning staggered I don't know if you understand that or not aha uh -huh, some little piglets getting out now I'm going to cover my beautiful finished floor nothing nailed of course uh, with a really nasty material, but first I want to say I, I lied. There is one place that the joint is not broken There it is. And that's pretty ugly. It's the only spot in the whole floor. I could have avoided it But I, I'm lazy about fixing it. The entrance is going to be here and a wide piece is Is the first thing you'd step on all right the ugly material that's going to go over it. And this stuff This is called bunker cover. It's used silo a used silo bag but it's impervious it's nine mil I can get as much as I want for free and it will ultimately be the impervious layer in all the roofs the living roofs of the faux cuts so my pretty floor is about to go go ugly but I, I want to because if I don't get around to getting back here I'd like to have it a place that's weatherproof for critters to get under so here it goes Well, I hope this is working. I, I think I filmed this before. There's, but I'll do it again. There's the reason I, I built that table. It's a layout table, really, uh, because I wanted to lay out on a, a horizontal plane half of an arch. That's a flying buttress on the left, the two, three red, or two red with the three right there. Those three will meet two more to be the central arch. And the whole thing's purpose is to span. Uh, span a furnace oh here come the piglets and the furnace I can show you it's it's over there and I I, I need to move it a little bit and I'll, that, that's just a tank on top was just an experiment to see what it would be like to try to hold the heat down but I decided since I have this material I would rather do it with these blocks because they'll make tremendous thermal mass it'll be a total of four arches so I'll have to build eight of these but there'll be as you can see there'll be very very little mortar involved just a little bit right maybe right right there which i can pour in place concrete and uh so that's been my purpose bye for now